The judges are now in the final process of selecting our new Miss Canada. Tomorrow, she'll begin a year of travel, which will take her throughout Canada and the world. Our reigning Miss Canada, Jody Rutledge's role proved to be most rewarding, interesting, and exciting. Here are Jody's thoughts on her year of travel. After a wonderful homecoming in Winnipeg, it was off to London, England, courtesy of British Airways, where we stayed at the charming Holiday Inn Swiss Cottage in North London. What a great city for sightseeing, especially the historic Tower Museum. What a thrill to see the Tower Bridge for the first time, and the famous Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, with none other than J.R. Ewing. I couldn't leave London without seeing Buckingham Palace and the Statue of Eros in Piccadilly Circus and particularly the famous British Museum and the pigeons in Trafalgar Square. And then it was off to St. Louis, Missouri for an experience I'll never forget, participating in the Miss Universe pageant. While in St. Louis, we really enjoyed visiting many interesting sites in the area before the pageant. Meeting the girls from so many different countries was quite a thrill for me, and I became both nervous and excited knowing that the Miss Universe pageant was going to be seen live by over 50 million people. Being Miss Canada 1983 has given me so many wonderful memories that I will cherish for a lifetime. And now, to give up her reign as she says farewell to the title she's held so beautifully, Miss Canada 1983 with her very special 48th Highlanders Honor Guard. Please welcome again Jody Rutledge. Just over a year ago today, I began one of the most exciting years of my life. When I became Miss Canada last November 1st, I embarked on a year of travel and public appearances across Canada and abroad, acting as a goodwill ambassador. The many events and the wonderful people I have met and worked with have made this year one I will never forget. At this time, I would like to give my thanks to the staff of Cleo Productions for all of their help and guidance. To my family and friends, Thank you for all of your love and encouragement that you've given me throughout the year. Lastly, I would like to thank a very special person, Drew, for all your love, support, and patience. Once again, thank you to everyone who helped make this year one I will remember and cherish for the rest of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, our reigning queen, Miss Canada 1983, the lovely Jody Rutledge. Now, I understand our panel of judges have made their final decision. Our auditor has tabulated the results, and the moment everyone has waited for is here. May I have the envelope, please? I have the names of the new Miss Canada and the three runners-up. I will announce the names of our winners, beginning with the third runner-up. The third runner-up, Miss Toronto, Anne-Marie Britton. <laughs> the second runner-up, Miss Nanaimo, Teresa Dalzell. The next name will be the first runner-up, the second most important award tonight. If for any reason Miss Canada cannot complete her reign, the first runner-up will assume the title. The first runner-up is Miss Red Deer, Miss Canada, 1984, Miss Edmonton, Cynthia Carlock.
for Cynthia Perlock from Edmonton. I hope all of you across the country get the opportunity to meet this lovely young lady, a beautiful Miss Kennedy as she is. She's going to be representing the country so beautifully during the next year. We thank you for joining us tonight for my lovely co-host, Dominique Dufour, the outgoing Miss Canada, the beautiful Jody Rutledge, our special guest, Chris Keen Cattell, Robin Ward. We thank you. I'm Jim Perry. Thank you for joining us tonight for Miss Canada, 1984. Good night, everyone.